All right, bro. So you want to know how to blow up in the underground? Not gonna lie, bro. Blowing up in the underground is very easy. Like if you know if you know what to do, it's very easy. And that's the thing: you don't even need good music. They're lying to you. You do not need good music to blow up. Good music would be nice. It would be preferable, but you don't need good music to blow up. You know what I'm saying? A uh, a bad song. Take a bad song versus a good song. A bad song promoted right. It's going farther than a good song that's like promoted wrong. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will know the bad. Cause I like, look at like what's popular. It's dark shit that's popular. Look at the radio. Dark shit is in the radio. I don't even listen to what's what's going on in the radio nowadays. I don't even know. The mainstream is dog shit. You feel what I'm saying? A good a bad song promoted good will always be better than a good song promoted wrong. Don't let that get over your head, man. And but with that said. You got to make good music, even though like, like I said, you don't need to make good music. If you're not making good music, you need to stop and go figure out how to make better music. You know what I'm saying? But if you're making good music, as a, I'm going to give you five ways to blow up in the underground. Number one, I know you heard that before, TikTok, TikTok, but you know what I'm saying? That, that's number one. That's the biggest one. You feel me? And I remember I was posting on TikTok, bro. And niggas was like, oh, why are you posting on TikTok? Do it the organic way. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you talking about? TikTok is literally free promotion. It's literally free people. Why Why would I not? Why would you not post on TikTok? You know what I'm saying? Why would you not do that? It's literally free. Like, every post, you're getting new people to look at your shit, bro. The thing about TikTok though, like you gotta be consistent, bro. You can't just post and then stop. You gotta be consistent, bro. Pick how many, pick how many times you wanna post a day and be consistent, bro. If you wanna post four times a day, five times a day, pick that number and you pick a low number. You don't have to pick like five times a day. You could pick like three times, two times, bro. Post consistently every day. You gonna see results, bro, on TikTok. I'm telling you, if you consistent on TikTok, you will see the results, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's really number one. And the same goes with uh IG reels and like YouTube shorts. You feel what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Post on that bitch consistently, man. You can even post post the same shit you're posting on TikTok on IG reels and make a. I know y'all wanna be mysterious on your IG and shit, but make a new make a new IG. That's like I don't know, like. Snippet, your snippet, your name and your snippet. Call it that some shit. Call it a fan page. Make a fan page for yourself. Fuck it. Fuck if it's corny. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Make a YouTube short. A YouTube channel, I mean. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like what are you doing? This shit like like music not about music anymore. If you really wanna make it, this shit about content creating. And that that shit is suck, you know what I'm saying? But that's really that's really how it is. Uh alright, on to the second. The second one is what I just said, like, music is about content creating. So you got to be a content creator. You got to, I don't know, do something. Fuck it. Start live streaming. You build a community. Live streaming is good as an artist because you're building community. People are able to connect with you in real time. And that forming a connection with your listeners, with your fans, with your supporters is so good. Because like they they feel you more, they connect with you more. They could and they listen to the music about oh I talked to this dude. You know what I'm saying? That's why live streaming is important. Make content, make videos, make videos like this. I I see a lot of like underground videos going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Some of them like I'm not gonna lie, a lot of underground like they not they don't make music. Some of them probably do, but a lot of them don't make music. They just they just reporting like on the on the underground channel, which is cool. But imagine like some one of these blogs, one of these blogs with a big ass platform. Imagine they also made music. They could literally monopolize. Like they could literally blow themselves up. Cause like they they run the blog. Cause basically it's the blog pages that's boosting. That's another that's actually the third what I'm gonna talk about. Actually let's just move to the third topic. The third topic the third way I mean is get on blog pages. Get on IG blog pages, Twitter blog pages, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Get on. You know that that's really what it is. That's because look at Laser. There's other niggas going crazy off of getting on all these pages, bro. Get on these pages and like you, you finna go crazy. If all these niggas post you, bro, I don't know. Find like a find a page. Get posted on that bitch. Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Twitter is actually number four. Twitter is number four. And I personally, I don't even, I don't use Twitter. But like, 
if you think about it, a lot of shit has blown up on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit blows up on Twitter. So whoever know how to use Twitter, bro, hit me up. Because I, I need to know how to use Twitter. Because, like, a lot of shit is be going crazy. Because look at, like, a, a lot of drama happened on Twitter. And, like, like negativity sells, bro, if you want to be honest. Negativity sells. Drama sells. People love that type of shit. And a lot of, like, net spend went crazy on Twitter. I think Laser Dim went crazy on Twitter. Bro, a bunch of niggas went crazy on Twitter, bro. So fine, like, I don't know if you, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how to use Twitter. I don't know what, I need to, I'm really, that's really what I'm finna, like, work on next. Like, try to be more active on Twitter. Try to see how the fuck you use that bitch. How the fuck do you go crazy on Twitter? How to, what pages I gotta get on and tap in with Twitter. But that's really, if you know how to do that bitch, bro, tap in with them Twitter pages, bro. You're going crazy, bro. You're going fucking crazy, man. That's what I'm saying. And number five. Build a brand. You got to build a brand. And building a brand is so important. Because if you don't have a brand, it, you're, you're a nobody. You're essential. Nobody cares about the music. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck. You're just you. Like, you haven't... Because, like, my brand is the skeleton shit. Niggas know me as, like, oh, that's King Skelly. That's Skelly them. That's Skelaruna. You know what I'm saying? Like, we made our own language. We made our own, like, our lingo and shit. Oh, that's skeleton. That's scale. That's, you know what I'm saying? I pull up with my skeleton. I'm feeling shit. Like, oh. Uh, niggas know me to, like, hey, what up, skelly? You know what I'm saying? Baba Linsky, for real. That's my brand. Like, all my cover art, the skeletons, everything. Like, my, even my songs, I talk about skeleton. That's my brand. That's my thing. Like, if I ever drop merch, merch my merch gonna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, niggas know about the skeleton. I start wearing, like, skeleton shit, skeleton chains. Um, that shit gonna go crazy. Just you thinking about that shit. That shit is crazy. That shit is fire. So when niggas don't got a brand to, like, look at Jay's Top Kid. His whole brand is the Top Kid shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why he calls his fan base. Oh, the, we Top Kids. We, you know what I'm saying? Look at uh, Yeet. Yeet is another example of that shit, bro. Look at, uh, I don't even know. Some, I mean, some people blew, blew up without a brand, but, like, having a brand, that's a cheat code, bro. That's literally a cheat code. Because you you get a brand, you get a fan base. Nigga, you building a fucking cult fan base. I remember, bro, I was going, I was back in Bell, and niggas like, yo, Baba, build a cult fan base. Niggas talking about, I build a cult fan. Nigga, this was way back. I wasn't even as big as I was now. Niggas was like, no, this nigga got a cult fan base. I'm like, what the fuck is niggas talking about? Niggas like, yeah, this nigga got, this nigga, Baba, got a cult fan base. I'm like, nigga, I ain't even, nigga, I wasn't even big yet. I'm like, I ain't even, I ain't even big yet. But nigga, you start doing that shit, niggas gonna be like, that nigga got a cult. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga going crazy. You feel what I'm saying? But that's really all the ways to blow up in the underground, man. You gotta, you gotta put in that work, man. You gotta work harder than these niggas, bro. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of these, actually, that's number six, bro. I know I said top five, but number six, bro. You gotta work harder than everybody else, bro. You gotta put in that fucking work, bro. You gotta be recording all the time. You gotta be, like I said, consistent on TikTok. You gotta be content creating. Fuck it, do it yourself, man. You all, you need a team, bro. That's probably number seven. Hey, fuck it. Let's make it top ten. Number seven, you need a team. You need people who believe in you. Because sometimes, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I'm like, man, I can't do this by myself. I can't do the the, the 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 streams. I can't do the videos. I can't do the music. I can't be the persona. I can't be the, you know what I'm saying? I need a team that's behind me. And that believes in me. That believes in you. Pushing you. Pushing your agenda. Pushing, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm pushing the Skelly agenda. I'm pushing the Baba agenda. We going crazy. You know what I'm saying? All year. For real. I love you niggas, man. Eight. Number eight is, I don't even know. Number eight is, be different. Be different, bro. And that don't, that don't mean, um, I hate false different. People who like different to just, uh, like they're forcing being different. I'm like, bro, that shit not cool. You could tell when a nigga's forcing being different. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It not cool at all. Don't don't force different. And when I say be different, be different like in your music and in yourself and your personality, bro. And who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hydrate, hydrate. Be different, bro. Uh, hop on different beats. Do different flows. 
do different ad libs, do whatever, do whatever the fuck you want, bro. Do, do, hop on that bitch and do whatever the fuck you want. I hop on that bitch, I do whatever the fuck I want, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I rap her the fuck I want. I say what the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. It is what it is. I like it. And that's all that matters. At the end of the day, make... That's number nine. Make the music you want to make. Fuck everybody else. Make what you want to make. And people going to... Res- people going to find you. People... People you resonate with is going to find you. Your audience is going to find you, my better... If you make the music you want to make, don't try to fit in with these with niggas. I know, but I see niggas like they're going crazy. But I'm like, bro, you sound like that nigga. You sound like this nigga. You doing this, by that nigga, bro. You feel me? Make music that you want to make. At the end of the day, fuck it. Even if you want to sound like a nut, just do do what the fuck you want, bro. And number ten, bro. Number ten is um, never give up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get hard. Like I said, there's a lot of niggas that want to be artists, that want to be underground rappers, bro. So you can't give up hope, bro. You can't look at, like, damn. Because, like, I I listen to a lot of music. And, like, there's a lot of niggas that I've listened to in the past that I'm like, yo, these niggas are crazy. These niggas are fire. And they never blew up. And I'm like, damn, Young and Fly, Trapple, I don't know if y'all know these names I'm listing. Um, Emmy, Emmy used to go crazy, bro. A, a whole lot of other people that I don't, I don't even remember. And I'm like, damn, these niggas are fire. But then, like, they're not even blown up. So and I'm like, I don't consider myself better than them. So I'm like, damn, if they couldn't blow up. I mean, they got numbers or some uh, shit, but like they they didn't really blow up to like blow up, right? And I'm like, damn, if I if I don't think I'm better than them, how? And they didn't blow up. How am I gonna blow up, right? And like, I can't let that mindset get in my head, right? If I'm like, damn, these niggas are still hard, like, and if they're not blowing up, how the fuck am I gonna blow up? It's like that's that's a t- it's a it's a valid mindset, but it's such a terrible like mindset to have because it fucks you up, bro. It really fucks you up, and it fucked me up for a long time. That shit has fucked me up. I'm like, damn, these niggas that I used to listen to, man, on SoundCloud and shit, them niggas was fire, and fuck, they didn't blow up. How the fuck am I gonna blow up? And I'm not better than them. You know what I'm saying? That mindset fuck you up. That's why I say number ten, bro. Don't give up. Don't let Shit get in your head. Don't let hate get it. You gonna have hate. Niggas gonna hate. Niggas hate on me. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hate on Drake. Niggas hate it. Niggas hate it on Juice World, bro. Juice World. Just, niggas hate it on Rod Wave. Niggas hate on anything, bro. Niggas is just haters, bro. Niggas just wake up and hate. If you're a hater, my nigga, you a bitch. I said it. You a fucked up human being, bro. Focus. Eyes on the prize, nigga. Come on, man. You got this, Skeller, huh? You got the. Hey, my that bit. I love you niggas. Like, comment, subscribe. Top 10 ways to blow up in the underground, man. If you blow up, man, let me know if I help you, man. I'm finna be doing the steps, too. You know what I'm saying? So if I blow up, be like, hey, I watch that video, man. He put a, he put us on the game. Come on, man. Hey, follow me on follow me on IG. Follow me my SoundCloud, my music, Spotify, all that shit. I love you, man. Kelly out there, bitch.